Hi everybody and welcome to a new episode of Diagnose Dan. Today we're gonna do a real quick video. The customer wants this car back. My shop is full with cars. I've gotta leave for Germany, but I wanted to show you this one real quick. Today we're working on this 2002 BMW 7 Series. This car was brought to me by another shop. They told me the customer complained is this car has got a parasitic drain so the battery will die overnight. Another complaint is that certain functions of the car like power seats or power windows or even park distance control will sometimes not work. Sometimes the windshield wipers start to operate without being turned on. Now the shop who brought this car to me tried to diagnose it and they told me there are a lot of K-Bus faults stored in this car. Now a K-Bus is basically a body CAN bus. They told me that sometimes they could and sometimes they could not communicate with the modules on this K-Bus. Now I started out by reading fault codes of a module on that K-Bus which I could communicate with. In this case, this was a PDC module or Park Distance Control module. And indeed, in that module, there are codes stored for the K-Bus. Now the next thing I did is hook up my scope to the communication wires of that PDC module. So let's have a look what the communication looks like. The K bus or body bus is a mid speed CAN bus. So we're expecting a waveform like this one. Now, one line should go from high, approximately 4 volts, to low. And the other one should mirror it from low to high. Now on this K-Bus, instead of being opposite to each other, both communication lines are doing exactly the same. Both are going from low to high. Now I told you this would be a short video. I really need to get to Frankfurt and Germany, so let's get to the point. I found this aftermarket trailer module. Now let's see what happens to the waveform when I unplug it. Now when I plug the module in and out a few times, it's easier for you guys to see what's happening to that waveform. Now this aftermarket trailer module or tow bar module was causing all the communication problems on the K-Bus. Now sometimes you could communicate with the car and sometimes the whole K-Bus would shut down. That's because sometimes it was raining and sometimes it was dry. Now this aftermarket trailer module is what I would call a wee bit. Why do I call it the wee bit? Exactly. Whee! Now without that faulty module, 
the communication on the K-Bus is fully restored. The rest of the car works just fine. The shop who brought it here is going to fit a new trailer module and is going to take care of the water intrusion problem. If you like this video and if you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel and if you hit the little bell, you will get a notification each time I post a new video. Diagnose then, fix it again. See you next time guys.